We set the chain. We set the chain. Good morning. Dirty nigga and dirty bungle. Good morning. How you feel it this morning? On no glad and no sad and no vex. Thanks for life. Give thanks for another day. Lord is mercy. Somebody. Somebody. You know, pretty two hackers. So today or Friday, I have to come and come show me and make me and all the reason in the sight. I don't know. I saw the thing set. No, we in a summer right now. Some of my balls are the sun hot. Fire burn on me, I'm going quail. But here we are. My daughter does a reason why I'm going to say I'm going to come spread a joy with you. Know. I don't know more time, one time, some things there. Fire mine, you have to just let it loose, you know? Let me loose. So, you know, me always come on and try to tell the people them say, Yeah, Erica, before me even start, me afraid. Big up Stacious. Congratulations to Stacious UDC Song Festival competition. Stacious won the competition. Big up stations, big up stations, big up stations. That's a big thing. It's an accomplishment and achievement for yourself. And that song festival, song competition, remember we grew up watching it with Ry, Ryan and Eric Donaldson and you know all these people. Obviously. Because I change them, change up the competition. Say, so, you know, they want to bring a difference to it. So, big up the organizers, them. Some people cuss and go on. Marvelous lies, mother, where you come on from my page for? I know I'm not like you. Them change up the competition. Last year, I bujo them in town, toots them and. Um, Michigan and some whole heap people, people cuss and talk all kind of thing. But you know, like the first, the first, the, the competition did a dead out because people get so used to watching American Idol and the Vice and all of them something there. Them now want to go to them roots and go back to them Jamaica program. The thing them were brought way up, we are not watching them anymore. The thing them we grew up and we get so Americanized now that everything we are going to America, we enter. And we like everything for America and eat everything for Jamaica. So the organizers them change up the competition and them put some names in it, you know, high acting in it and you know, some other people. So now people I go see it and them never know what. 
because them no business with it. A generation and no business about no festival competition. When they hear them talk about festival nowadays, them say festival are the can something where you eat. You understand? So when I hear them, when I tell them about festival, Mommy, what are you talking about? Mommy, what is festival? Festival is something we eat over Elsha. Festival is what we order when we go to Jolly's. Is that what we order when time we go to, to, to Sharky's? No, youth, come here, I can talk to you. And you have to explain to the youth, because the youth them, they, they don't know so much things about history. None of them youth don't even know what is Grand Gala. You know what I mean? They not even know what is Grand Gala. And it's so sad, you know. But what can I do? What can I do? All you have to do, you teach your youth them and make them know them roots. Now found if you youth born in America, you have to make your youth know the Jamaican heritage them. We know too much about America. You have some people know the American and them by art and they never even go to America yet and them don't know eternal father bless the land guide us with thy mighty hand you can't miss a few words you know but you're not supposed to forget the Jamaican national anthem people know okay say can't you see by the dark pearly lights and them don't know eternal father bless the land some people just embedded themselves in America and dash with Jamaica and them not left Jamaica yet. And that's how we reach right now, you know. So I have to big up stations. I have to big up stations. Big up stations. I am very proud of you. I mean no stations is a girl she always a try. So a boy make a bad comment on my page about stations what do you know? I never pay my man because when I click on him something I say I look attention in like him create a page for something I need a mix up. Nobody. Me if copy the P, me just me just delete him comment and I look for him because them always send them people they come. You see me? But watch this now. Me my daughter a reason. I went where a reason. And my daughter say enough people do things. For sure people say them can do something. Them don't do it because they want to do it. You know? And it's a goal of theirs. Because you know everybody's supposed to have a goal in life. So me and my daughter are reason, you know. She has said some things to me and me has said, you know, say true my daughter talk. Enough people want to own stuff, but they don't know how much it costs to maintain stuff like for instance a car if you purchase a car on a loan remember that's a big responsibility if you get 1.5 million dollars to purchase a car that's just to purchase the car everybody wants to own a car but the car comes with responsibility and again, I always talk about responsibility. You want to own something, but you don't want to response for the upkeep of this. Now people say they want a house. And when they get the house, they don't know say it take a lot to maintain a house. You understand? So, a car. You're working and you're doing a nice good job and you save up some money. And you say you want a car. Let me explain how you have to know what you're doing when you take out a car. 1.5, 1.6. The bank give you to get this car. That's just for the car. You have to look about the fitness, license and registration for this car. That's another money again. To insure the car is another money again. If your license is young, like if you just get your license last year, 
your insurance is going to be a hundred and odd thousand dollars so if you're supposed to pay back 35,000 a month on this car loan and them give you five year or ten year to pay back with them give you for pay back your insurance is a hundred and odd thousand dollars you have to have all of these money so if your salary now match up with that you're not supposed to struggle to eat food and maintain care I bet you just go and save your money, save your money, save your money, save your money, save your money. I know you want to move around and you're tired to take bus and you're tired to beg drive and everything. But the responsibility is a lot. Not deterring you from doing what you want to do, you know. But you have to think about what you're doing. Mr. Basler, good morning. You have to think about what you're doing. A lot of us don't think and when we go to Obama reach in a state where you lie so young, you get a car. Yes. But when you go to Obama and look now, you're not supposed to struggle. Because remember, you know. Say for instance, you pay rent again. And you have light, water, all of the bills, etc. Plus you add a different $35,000. So you look on $100,000 per month. Do you have that? Because remember, you know, once you get the loan, you have to pay it back, you know. And the bank don't business if things get slow. The bank don't business if you stop work. They don't business if you're sick. They don't business about nothing at all. They just know they want their money. Mr. Bling, is Empress Red. So you have to put all these things into place first. Make sure you have even six months put down to pay for this car. And then again, not just driving the car. Females now is not just driving this car. Driving this car, remember you now. Just like when you go out and clean. You take care of yourself. You have to take care of this car. You have a thing called maintenance. Just like when you maintain yourself, you have to maintain this car. It's not just buying gas. Because you look at the nickel and you see it going to go and, and, and zero. So you're saying you know, yes, you have to service this car. You have to change the oil, you have to change the plug, you have to change all the things that this car needs. So you take on a baby by yourself, you have to willing, you can't, and this is not something you're going to say, oh, I'm going to park it, you can't bother with it. You have to maintain it or you just leave it alone, but you still have to pay the people the money. You have to pay the people the money. So everybody, young people, I know when you aspire to have a vehicle and it's a great joy and an accomplishment and an achievement to have a vehicle. And, and I applaud every young person who is working towards to own their first vehicle. But please bear in mind, you have some hurdles where you have to go over. It's not like you're going to just buy the car and you just feel good and, every, and everything good. It's not going to work that way. Because if you depend on a budget where you work, it's not a call center. You know, you have a work a basic income. You have to know what you do. And it all depends on the type of vehicle that you are trying to purchase. If you are trying to purchase a CRV, HRV, or Honda, one of them, any one of them vehicles, the price is varies from the type of loan what you're going to get. You know what I mean? So think about that. And go and save your money. Go and save your money. Don't take the, the, your last money do anything and then you have to wonder how you will get it back. Paladin, never be a butter bean or a tin of sardine. Paper, tomorrow night is Paladin. Big birth night bash. Our 50th strong in our Queens. I remember Jesus book feet. It's an early settings. So you go early and do what you have to do. You know what I mean? She got food and them something there. So a big thing. I whole world I talk about it. What you mean, Mr. Blink? Yeah. 
Good morning again, who just tune in like rubber dub in the island. A whole heap of things we seen on the news from the week start. From last week to this week concerning kids. I say a four year old got beaten and died after the beating that he, he, he received for eating too slow. They question both parents and they put the stepfather in lockup. It wasn't his child. He beat that child with a piece of stick for eating too slow. The child succumbed to his injury to the way how he beat that child. You know how much how hard him after he beat that little baby for that baby to die. Respect yourself so big up. Big up yourself. See? And me see it, you know. It bother me, bother me, bother me, bother me, you know. And it it brings me to come upon life now. To tell you know, again if you don't have any children at all. Remember getting kids. Remember getting kids is a handful, a footful, a body full. All type of full generation. You have to have a lot of patience. Some man don't have no kids. Some man never grow for them kids. And the mother do the whole of the work. Them just breathe around. So them drop off for money. And then some women. Them suffer from a self-esteem. Very low, 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 low. Them have that big issue there. Where them think them cannot do without this man. Uh, this man is the provider. He's the one that put the bread on the table. So he's entitled to box down my pitney and kick down my pitney and molest my pitney and abuse my pitney and do everything to my pitney because he is the breadwinner. That is where you're wrong, girl. Because in the first place, if you're him attack for four years and you have a four year old which is not his own and you don't do nothing in that four year day. And him just do everything. You just get submissive to him. That means that everything him do, you go okay with it because you go say you can't do better. You don't take no stand for anything. See? Wagwan Shar. When me see it, me get. Some whole heap of different feelings where I go, go through some whole heap of emotions because this baby is a baby, a baby, this baby never start got school yet. Four year old. See? And this man had a beat the baby with a piece of stick. And yes, the mother is to be blamed. The mother is to be fully hundred blamed. Because it happened worldwide to enough kids. Worldwide it happened to enough kids and the mother is to be blamed. Because a lot of you females you know, allow a lot of things. You know, call abuse for yourself. Because a lot of you know, don't respect yourself. And when you don't respect yourself, it's like you condemn your own self. And I don't know when you're not try to stop it because you have to stop something. You allow what happens to you in life. When I say that, when it, when it comes on to certain things, not everything, because certain things you cannot control, but in our relationship you can control certain narrative not because you're broken and hungry that means say uh, a man must come come spit and shit by you and kick you down and deal with you a certain way 
You have to stand for something or you will fall for anything. Zin, remember I know. Shari. Sherry. She said beat her too. This man has beat her a long time. And she get so used to the abuse. That she can't talk to him. She, if she walk her mouth, bam him backside her down. From the first time him do that something there. I remember the first time I beat it's not like the first beat the little boy get look on a little baby like that, traumatized. Father like them there, or man like them there, him to get back the same beat from some big man. Him to get back the same beat from some big man. There is nothing that, that a little baby can do at that age. What you supposed to that you just take up your hand, poof the pit me, especially you take an instrument and I lick the same child. Zin, and this has been happening for quite too long. You will get abused, your children them will get abused. So when you not go fight back. When you not go fight back, because you see the world we say, I can't do better. I don't like it. I don't like it. I can't do better. Don't use that word until you try different methods of doing anything in a life. Then, remember all the abused people are there, you know. Them go through a whole heap of abuse. Physical abuse, verbal abuse, emotional abuse, mental abuse, financial abuse, sexual abuse. You have a lot of people going through all six, all seven. Zin, Shanze, I'm not drinking a soap today. I heard about Keisha Cole, mother. Condolences goes out to her. Zin, and that's what I always tell people. You might be ready to have a child, but your spouse is not ready don't force no man to breed you and don't make no man force you to breed because and everybody willing to go half and half upon the responsibility some people just feel like say here some girl I come talk about oh just breed me and go on man me alone to take care of my picnic and then the same girl who said that word to you just breed me and go on when she realized how stressing it is to deal with this child and she alone financially, emotionally, mentally, physically, everything as she had done, all of a sudden, yes, does something start come up on the internet. A dirty man, him a wicked, him a this, him a that. I'm going to get my picnic from God, thank God for God, thank Jesus for the angels up above. Oh, you want to give me this and ray, ray. Because a lot of people said the man never show up. None of these signs. But the signs them did it. Trust me. But some are only blinded by love. If a man tell us he's not ready to get a child. Why would you want him to still breed you? Yes, he want to come in here. Yes, he want to do that. But he makes beg you for us don't breathe when he come in here. He makes beg you for us take come right you. That is what he makes beg. Right you. So what you have to do now, because remember you know, sometimes you get a feeling. And that feeling that does make you feel so different. You depend on the eye because this person we are talking to put you in such a mood. That's nobody else even matter. Nobody else no matter. Nothing else come close. It's all about this person. And the feeling that I believe that everybody deserves to have that feeling. Where somebody make you feel so special. 
But when it comes out to the responsibility part, you have to remember. You have to know what you do. Because you might ready for the responsibility. And some man does not want to never deal the responsibility yet in him life. And you will put him in a disresponsible mood. Sure. I for tell the man them to stop beat them woman. Me for tell them to stop beat them woman. Me now I go tell them that. You know what me I go tell them? Stop allow yourself a man batter you. Stop allow yourself to get disrespect. Me now I go tell no man that. Because me realize that some woman get accustomed to being battered. I realize that a lot of women they get accustomed to being battered and being abused. Women need to know their strength and use them strength. Stop making materialistic things. Push your feet up and accept things where you don't want to do. Stop putting yourself in another position. That's how I to tell women. Because enough time, man stubborn does like a woman stubborn. So woman, you have to know how you want a man to speak to you. How you want a man to deal with you. Even in a loving, you have to show a man how to love you. Teach him how to love you. If he's willing to learn. Some man can kiss and caress. Teach him how to kiss and caress. Some man don't like when the man goes a bam. Ram don't like that. While some man don't want the man going on a cool and deadly smooth runnings. So you have to tell the man how he must deal with you. You understand? Because I still have to tell you another story every time I talk about a situation like this. I live in jungle. And a garden. And a man and a woman. In a some dispute. And she go about her business. And him run her down and a beat her. I will go down and a try say, No, you can't do that. You can't need a woman like that. Too. If you beat a woman like that, no way run apart. There comes the woman who will get the beating and the batteration. Get up ready for war with everybody there helping her. Leave me, man. Leave him. Make him beat me and kill me. I throw my front good, make him a beat me. Love him. The same woman we are ball, Jesus Christ, murder, I a kick out. Nose a bust up, teeth a kick out, everything. Ears a blist up, everything. The same woman ready to kill the whole world for your man. Leave my man. Make him beat me. Make him kill me. So now. Enough time when you see things, people just not about that business. People not about that business, people just love them. Because the same person where you try to go help. And, and, and up turn on a war, war and kill you. So you can't stay there. And you have to love them, make them do them something. When me forgot to make them come gang me. Missy said true and them for stop take man things and respect themselves. But look work and stop make man take advantage of you. No love no more than your life and kids. Me here to watch Jamaica news, it's sad. Sanja, a lot of people is not educated on mental health and 
I will agree.